Today, I would like to show you how our lightings make it possible for a smart camera to read the prints on a shiny surface that is the bottom of a can that you can easily recognize. Check out what is written here. The markings are printed on the bottom of the scan, but they could also be laser engraved. What we are going to do is try to have the camera properly detect the black markings. Here we go. Here is the smart camera with the embedded lighting. This lighting is part of the camera and sold together with the camera. It is sometimes not suitable for the application you face, which is the case study. Here is the computer interface that shows what the camera sensor detects. Alright, let's turn the embedded light on. You can see that the bottom of the can, being so thin, the camera cannot properly see the black markings. It won't be possible for the software to use the image provided by the camera and process it. The issue here is the lighting that is not suitable for this application. I will now show you how to fix this problem with the lightings from Lighttune. Here I have a ring and a dome and I will show you the difference they make to a smart camera. What you need to do is connect the ring to a 24 volt DC power supply through the cable that is provided. Just place the ring close to the camera objective. Here is the objective of the camera, right here, with the original embedded lighting attached to it. See what happens when I slowly move the ring downwards? What you see on the screen is different when the ring is far from the can or gets closer. Adjust the distance between the ring and the can for what you want. I will now show you what happens when you use this accessory, which is a dome that can be easily fitted to the ring. Just put it on top of the ring, like this. The hole in the top is where the camera goes. See what happens when I move the dome upwards towards the can? Let me just adapt the focus of the camera here so the image is not blurry. The light is very uniform, with no area being shinier or darker. The camera is now able to properly read the markings. You can also change the accessory and switch from dome to low angle here. Use it like that. By moving the low angle up and down like this, you get different results on your computer screen. As you can see, the markings appear clearly now, and this image will be suitable for the computer software. The experiment was to show you that with a couple of components that are inexpensive, you can try out different things and find what suits your system best. This is time and cost saving. Thank you for watching.